got a really cute DIY world book day costume for you. It is for Paddington Bear. It consists of Paddington's brown suitcase, his felt red hat and a little look after this bear label. Keep watching and we'll show you how to make it. So to start with, for the Paddington Bear suitcase, we're just going to paint this shoebox brown. So the box has been painted front and back all over with brown paint and we've left it to dry. And now we're just taking scissors and just snipping up each of the two corners here. I'm gonna open that up, glue it onto the box there to make a hinge so that it's like a suitcase. Now I've just marked on um, PB for Paddington Bear in pencil and now I'm just using some black paint to fill in the lines. Draw a handle shape onto corrugated card and then cut this out. Repeat so that you have two handle shapes. Then all you need to do is stick these together to make a stronger handle shape. To make the gilded corners of the suitcase, take a strip of gold duct tape and place it centrally over one of the corners of the suitcase. Then lift it up and fold the triangle shape into the other corner. Press the two sides together like that. And then repeat for the other side. And then all you need to do is trim off the excess. And then you just need to repeat so that all the corners have gilds on them. So we've covered the handle all over in black duct tape and now we're going to stick it onto the top of the suitcase. So place it centrally on the top where it opens and get some small pieces of black duct tape. Place them on there. back. So for Paddington Bear's label we've just taken a luggage label and cut it a bit smaller and we're just going to write wanted on voyage which is what was on his suitcase. Now we're going to use tiny bits of duct tape to stick that onto the suitcase. And as a finishing touch we've just got these little travelling stickers and we're going to stick those onto the suitcase. So for Paddington's label we're just going to write please look after this bear on a luggage label and this can be fairly scruffy wonky writing. I'm going to remove this smaller label and I'm going to thread on a larger bit of string so this can then go around the neck and isn't dangerous. To make Paddington's hat, take the Easter bonnet and a piece of red felt which you'll need to glue on the underside, place the felt over half of the hat and press down. Fold the edges in neatly and you can use a piece of masking tape to hold this in place whilst it dries. Then repeat to cover the other side of the hat in the same way. So with that glued on and dried, all you need to do is take these corners and snip them off and that will form a nice close edge. And then once you've done that, you can cut all the way around the hat, not too close to the top part, so there's a little bit of an overlap. And then you can just glue down any of the loose ends so that the felt sits nice and smoothly on the hat. To make the rim of the hat, get a sheet of red felt and place it underneath your hat, draw around it, and then remove the hat and cut that out. Then measure the rim of the hat, so that's five centimetres in this case, add on two centimetres and mark this point around the piece of felt and then cut it out at this point. Discard the middle bit and then place this onto your hat. Line up the edges and then you can glue it in place. And then just repeat with another bit of felt to fill the gap. Then use extra glue if you need to, to stick the loose ends down. Then repeat for the back of the hat. I've cut another ring of felt and glued it on and you can fold it round and stick it down in the same way as before. 
If it starts to feel a bit taut, just cut little tabs in and fold it down like that. DIY pant and bear costume. To complete the look, all you need to pair it with is some yellow wellies and a duffel coat. And some marmalade sandwiches. Oh yeah, loads of those. <laughs> Thanks for watching.